Alrighty, now it's time to talk about the system block diagram. So up until this point, it's been, I want to say smoke and mirrors. It's, it's, it hasn't been as detailed. Um, I mean, I went in, I went over a schematic previously in a little bit, but that was only for the flyback part itself, right? We need to go, this, this, this block diagram is going to take you from wall to USB port where you can plug your, plug it into a USB port. Okay. And I'm going to explain to you the process of that. So just looking at the diagram, it's a very simple diagram, right? Um, so just looking at the diagram, the first part we're going to start at is the AC input. That's where the wall is. And the interface to the, the AC input is going to be that IEC 320-C14 connector that I mentioned in the spec sheet video. So like I said, that's what's going to get power to come out of the wall, and then that's what's going to plug into our flyback converter on the AC side, okay? What that AC voltage is going to do is going to flow into an input bridge rectifier where it will be rectified, and that is what converts AC to DC. Um, I might cover a bridge rectifier in a later video, but it's not going to be anywhere. Like, there's a million and one videos and sources out there to figure out what uh, a full wave bridge rectifier is and how to design that circuit. Um, so I'm not sure how in how in how in depth I will go on that but just know that's what you got to do so you have to take your ac input and then you have to rectify it so now it's dc um and then when it's dc basically what's going to be happening is the dc is going to be flowing into the transformer primary side and then that power is going to be transferred to the transformer secondary side and this should sound very familiar it should sound like a lot of other times i kept talking about the whole i went into extreme detail of exactly how this process works and just understand that this this process is governed by the flyback controller and so basically that's what's going to be controlling the switching of the mosfet on and off and that's what's going to be controlling the transfer of power like i just said so then once it gets to the secondary side on the output it will be in the form of five volts and basically that's that's pretty much where that's pretty much it after that right I mean we'll have to do some other things to it to get it ready to go into somebody's phone or charge a device but other than that um, that's pretty much all you have to worry about in terms of, of getting it to go from AC 120 volts AC or whatever your AC is to 5 volts DC it's pretty much the whole process um, as far as other things that we need to mention I'm I don't really think there are too many so basically in the next video what we're going to do is start doing some preliminary research figure out what flyback controller we might use and maybe take a look at some reference schematics i'll kind of show you that whole process how i basically get the ball rolling on the design phase